Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tacky Tuesday. If you haven't already seen my past Tacky Tuesdays, go check them out just to learn quick EMS cardiology lessons in less than five or six minutes. And today's lesson is going to be all about the U-Wave. Starting off quickly with the definition, although the U wave is not always present, it follows the T wave on an EKG. The exact significance of this U wave is unknown, however, it is suspected to represent the final stage of ventricular repolarization. U waves can also indicate a possible electrolyte imbalance or cardiac abnormalities. Let's talk about some of the characteristics of U waves. U waves can be upright or they can be inverted, and they tend to have the same deflection as the T wave that precedes them. The T wave does tend to be bigger than the U wave, but if the T wave is upright, the U wave is typically upright, and vice versa. If it's inverted, then it's typically inverted as well. As the heart rate slows, the U waves become more obvious, more noticeable, and U waves are not typically present when the heart rate is fast or really anything over 95 beats per minute. U waves are most obvious in V2 and V3, but they can be scattered throughout the 12 lead. Some of the causes of U waves when it's not just a normal V9 U wave are high hypokalemia, bradycardia, LVH or left ventricular hypertrophy, phenothiazines, ischemia, and CVAs. So let's take a look at U waves on a strip or on an EKG. This is a really clean illustration of a U wave. So you have your P wave, your QRS complex, T wave, and then the U wave. And you'll see how tiny that U wave is. But unfortunately, most U waves are not as obvious as this one. And most strips are not as clean as this one. There's definitely no artificial effect on this one. This is an actual strip, so you can look right after the T waves, which appear to be quite a bit taller. You can see if I put an arrow on every U wave. They're slight, but they are definitely present. And as for possible EMS treatments, to be honest, there is no EMS treatment for a U wave. A normal U wave is not cause for concern in the field. Now, if you see a U wave with the other causes or risk factors that I listed, and those causes and risk factors are something you can treat, then that's totally different. But you can always get a 12 lead, which is how you would discover it, obtain a set of vitals, an IV or a blood draw, and from there, really just treat your patient. Search for your underlying causes, get a great medical history, and really talk to your patient and treat their complaints. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I have for the U-Wave. I hope you learned something today, and I will see you next week. Bye!